Hello there, Libras. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Deals with your love life and your romantic life. And the second five cards deal more with overall energies, work, career, finances, as well as your spiritual advice. Um, so let's talk about um, let's talk about what's coming in for you. Um, I have here. You have a really good spread when it comes to love, but I feel like you got to make some decisions. Okay. Um, this is an abundance in options. Having a lot of options at our disposal or having quite a few admirers that are in our midst. So for those who are single, I definitely feel like, you know, you've got people that are eyeing you. You have people that are flirting with you. You have people that are just naturally very drawn to you. You don't even need to, you know, lift a finger. They're, they're there making their interests very known to you. And I feel like some of you are kind of, kind of just like admiring, taking in the beauty and the attraction and enjoying the attention, but you're not really um, going to go for it because many of you, I feel, are already in relationships, okay? So you're admiring the options that are coming in. You enjoy the flirtation. You enjoy the, you know, the, the, the energy exchange between you and other people. But I feel like some of you are in already in a relationship, and as a result of that, you're not really budging. Your your hands are folded. It's almost like my hands are tied. I'm already taken, ladies. It, it, I feel that energy coming through, and the fact that we have you know three queens coming out in both of these spreads indicates to me that you know you might be dating women, and you're just like my hands are tied, ladies. And as much as um, as much interest as um, as many suitors as there are around you, I feel like, you know, you're being polite and very cordial and quite a bit flirtatious, but not really going there, not really reaching out and not really, you know, taking the actions that you're guided to take in order to accept these offers or follow through or, you know, continue with these offers. Um, I feel for some of you who are already attached, this might be the person that you're attached to. And the reason I say that, we have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I feel like there might have been conflict of interests, you know, differences in opinions, differences in ideas, differences in the way that you do things. You might be with somebody. When I think of the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, I usually think of this as somebody who is um, a little bit more jealous and a little bit more on the possessive end, okay? She is looking at this Pentacles, like, like looking at you, like you're the object of her affection. You're the person that she cares very, very deeply for. You're the person that she took really, really good care of. and. Um, there's a sense of possessiveness because um, some people, you know, they feel like I was there for you since the beginning and or like I made you the person that you are today or they feel like, you know, I um, made you a better man. I made you a better woman so that um, you could be dateable and ready for the next person. So they, there's a sense of um, ownership here. And I feel like, you know, when you're like this and you have a lot of options, of course, your partner is going to be quite, you know, um, quite jealous, quite envious. They may or may not express it, but it's kind of, um, it's kind of felt. And I feel like they might hold back affection when they're feeling spiteful, or when they're feeling jealous, or when they feel um, like neglected. And I also feel like, you know, if they're grouchy, or all of a sudden, if they just um, nitpick everything that you do, it's because they feel like they're not getting enough attention, okay? So, for those of you who are, you know, um, looking, you could be single or married or whatever your situation is, you can still look, right? Um, we have another character that's coming into the picture. They're waiting on you. Seven of Pentacles, waiting for the harvest, waiting for things to culminate, waiting for the right timing, waiting for things to come into fruition. So if you think of a, a farmer, right? They put in a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of resources, seed, um, fertilizer, water, um, TLC. 
、um, into their crop, into whatever it is that they're waiting on to harvest. And you know they go check on their crop every day to make sure the weather conditions are right, to make sure that you know the bugs are taken off their 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 crop, and to spray it with the right you know、uh, pesticides, God forbid,、um, insecticide, pesticides, whatever it is. They they spend a lot of time obsessing over it. And so I feel like you know there is somebody in your life here. It could be this Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that is、um, assessing the relationship. I'm putting in so much time. Is the other person they your whoever you're dealing with?、Um, they're waiting on you to make a grand gesture. So they could be you know waiting on an offer from you, or they're if you're already with them. They're also kind of at this point starting to weigh out how much work am I putting in versus how much work am I getting back. Okay, so if they're like all of a sudden very grouchy or nitpicky, I feel like they're not. They're they're feeling a little bit resentful that they're not、um, getting the right. Amount of love and affection and attention from you, and in particular, if you're dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay.、Um, on the other hand, we have here another fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that is.、Um, I feel like they're very, very attracted to you. You likewise can be very attracted to them, but your sword is up. Your sword is up,、um, you know, and it's on their side, right? Like the sword, the swords are up, which indicates to me communication. There's communication flowing back and forth. They're offering you a flower, and that's on your side. So it's like one person is offering something light and and airy, and you know,、uh, so、flowers don't last forever. They they kind of wilt after a certain time. So if you're feeling very passionate with this person, they're on board to have like a short fling, to have a short term thing, and then see where it goes.、Um, this is somebody that can be Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They love animals. They love nature. They love the outdoors. They're very caring and loving, but in a more light-hearted way. Whereas this person is like possessive, possibly controlling.、Um, I usually think of this, and this can be a male or female, but the energy I'm getting is someone who's a little bit of a diva.、Um, someone who's a little bit of a diva, someone that needs attention. Whereas this energy is a lot more lighthearted, carefree, and popular, and just you know,、um, they 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 extend their energy to everyone. They extend their energy to the world. They love animals. They have a lot of love to give, but you know they don't they they don't obsess over things over people. So you have somebody here that you're potentially very interested in, and there's a lot of communication back and forth between the two of you, but you both are not making the the action to get things off the ground. And for some of you, you might be stuck between two people. Okay, hence lots of choices, lots of options. One person needs you. One person is like, oh, clinging on to you. And then the other is so carefree. The other, you feel, if I get in, involved with this fire sign here, they might、um, have, they might be too popular. They might have a lot of suitors. It might stir up some jealousy within me. And you know, when the tables are turned, when the tables are turned, it's almost like now you're getting kind of like the taste of your own medicine. So if you have been and Libras, you are notorious. Libras and Gemini's are notorious for being flirtatious,、um, and you're flirtatious in a very、um, like it's almost like、um, you're not deliberate. You're charming. You're attractive. Many of you have you know dimples and things like that that make you really really attractive. You smell nice, you know. So people are naturally going to be attracted to you. But I feel like you might have、um, bent on the fact that you're very attractive, that people are drawn to you, and you might have been careless with, you know, the flirtation, and your partner got jealous, 
and now you're dealing with somebody who is also, you know, quite popular. Lots of people might like them. They're waiting on you, and you're kind of trepidatious about: Do I get involved? Because it seems like they're very flirtatious, or they're just looking for a good time. Do I really want that? Do I want more longevity, or do I just want this quick burst of passion that's going to dissipate, you know, the next morning? So some of you, I feel, are caught between two people. One really cares about you. One wants more passion and just more of a light-hearted affair. And I feel like you're making some major reassessments here. And no matter what, it's making you quite happy, right? Because like, who wouldn't be flattered when we have options? When we have a lot of strong, powerful people that really want to be with us, it's flattering. So I feel like for a couple, there's temptation from an outsider, and then for singles, lots of option. Be careful about. Possessive, this okay. Air and fire operate really well together. Air and earth, earth is on one plane. The air kind of hovers over it, right? So energetically, um, what you know, pending other things in your chart and other, you know, your moon sign and your rising. But I feel like the communication is really lacking in this、uh, relationship. Whereas there's a lot more dynamism in this, you know, air fire interchange. I pulled out a card here to see what you should do, and we have here the Ten of Cups. So we have Nine of Cups moving into the Ten of Cups, <laughs> and basically, I I just feel like you can't really go wrong here. This isn't a right or a wrong choice for those who are single. But this is a big moral dilemma for those who are coupled. If you are coupled and you have children, you need to prioritize that, okay? And let、um, kind of block out this person if they're a third party. And then for those who are single, you can't really go wrong. You have options. You have choices. Whoever you pick, I feel like you know it's、um, it's leading to commitment. It's leading to stability, and it's leading to this、um, emotional. Fulfillment that is kind of like grand and beyond your wildest dreams. So, this is actually a really good、um, spread overall. But you know, I keep seeing、um, if you've been flirtatious in the past, you're getting like、uh, you're meeting somebody that is kind of like your equal, and they're gonna stir up some jealousies within you. Okay, but I feel like somebody's waiting around for you to make a move. Other areas in your life, you've got two aces. You've got two wonderful, wonderful aces, and、uh, let me talk about the three of swords first. The three of swords is dealing with harsh words when it's not love, romance related. Okay, this is like、uh, words that can wound, words that can cut. Dealing with people who are very critical, or dealing with people who are very, very insensitive about the things that they say, the things that they do. They're inconsiderate, insensitive, and. Ultimately, it's like、um, they they hurt, and when you know you're hurt, you guys are really good at making a smart comeback. When you when you're hurt, your mind works at super speed to kind of like、uh, come up with something that you can throw back at them, and so you do that, and then they might hurl something back at you. So this is a situation where there has been a lot of conflict. Conflict of interest and also conflict regarding ego, you know, clashes between you and another person. For some of you here, I feel like whatever has been said, whatever has been done, it's basically there isn't going back. But at least you have some truth, you have some clarity, and you have arrived at, you know.、Um, You now know where you stand with them, and so you don't need to, you know, skirt around these issues anymore. Okay, so it's like we already know, we already know that we don't like each other, so let's just avoid each other. So if it's in the work environment, you're gonna avoid each other. If it's a family member, and I feel like it very well could be a sister, a sibling.、Um, I'm seeing、uh, strong feminine energy. A sister, a sibling, possibly a mother, aunt, or you know somebody significant, somebody significant that you have a very strong emotional connection with, and this is not like a, a lighthearted card. It's somebody that we care about, or we、um, 
deal with regularly that can hurt us this way. If it's a stranger on the street, who cares, right? So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that might have、uh, gone through some type of a surgery, some type of a recuperation, and you're reaching out trying to make sure if they're okay. If you have somebody like that, and you're kind of like caught up in your own thing with your new job, with your new ideas, with you know your new lease on life, partying too. If you're you know just caught up in your own life, reach out and see how they're doing because I feel like that gesture would mean a lot to them. If you've had falling out in the past with this person, be the bigger person. Try to reach out. You have a lot of good things going for you, and they might be waiting around for that. Opportunity to reconcile, to reconnect. So I feel like there is an apology here,、um, possibly coming from another person or coming from you to another person for whatever damage that has been done in the past. You're at a space where financially things are really abundant for you. You might be starting a new job. You might、uh, be starting a new course of study. You might have not dealt with them for some time, and now you know you're trying to reach out and you're trying to rectify a situation, or at least ask them to see if they're okay because you're hearing some news about them, possibly surgery, health issues, heartache, or whatever misfortune they're going through. And I feel like you know hearing from you would、uh, mean a world of difference to them. And so, I'm seeing lots of family things as well. Okay. Take care of、um, the people that you love. Okay, they might not be around forever, so take really good care and be conscientious as well.、Um, I feel like, honestly, I feel like you're trying to right some wrongs here in your life, Libras. So if in the past, you know, you might not have been truthful, I feel like you're coming into the point where you feel, you know, the importance of truth and clarity and decisiveness as well. And I also feel like you're coming into the sense of truth about what's really important for me. It's not the shiny car or the shiny objects. You know, it, it's more like the true intention behind these actions. So I, I definitely feel like you're coming into a space of responsibility where your actions and your words are starting to match up. Okay, good energy. I wish you all the best. Take care. Okay, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.